What is up guys and welcome to another episode of The Skid Reviews. Today we're not going to be doing a movie review or a preview but we're going to be talking about comic books. There are a lot of people who like superhero movies, comic book movies, you know, which seems to be the big thing in cinemas these days. But there are some who feel intimidated even though they want to learn more about their favorite characters which they've seen on the big screen. Getting into comic books and graphic novels can seem a little bit daunting from the outside given how vast the whole medium is. So we decided to make this video to help people, those who are interested, in starting off their comic book adventure. Here's a list of 10 books that we made which we think are just perfect for beginners who want to learn more about comic books and want to experience the amazing stories that this medium has to offer. How do I get into comic books? That's a question we have encountered from many people, friends and strangers alike. Those new to the medium, comics are seen as impenetrable. They notice that some series have been running in various forms for decades, or there are just so many titles it's so hard to know what to read or where to begin. Here are a few tips for anyone who is interested on where to start your comic book adventure. Now before anyone starts complaining, be informed this is not a list of what we think are the best comic books, nor are they all for very young kids. Here is instead a list of 10 comic books and graphic novels in no particular order which we think are the friendliest examples to first time readers of what the comic book medium offers in terms of both themes and artistic stylings. At number 1 is Watchmen by Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons. No comic book has been the subject of more essays and serious literary discussion than Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons' Watchmen. It has been named one of the 100 greatest novels of the past century by Time magazine. Released 20 years ago, this 12 issue maxi series was a groundbreaking achievement for comics. Written for adults, The Watchmen opened the doors for thought-provoking and intelligent comics in the mainstream. Two decades after its arrival, there is still no greater comic book, and for serious readers, this is a great way to get hooked into the graphic novel genre. At number 2 is Saga Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. This is an epic space opera following a star-crossed married couple and their little mixed baby as they run from both sides of a war. This is one of those comic books that's on practically every list for newbies. It's gorgeous, thoroughly beloved, a smash hit and one of those works that you can't find an easy substitute for on TV or in films. It's a triumph of the medium basically. At number 3 is Why the Last Man by Brian K. Vaughan and Pia Guerra. This tells the story of a post-apocalyptic world where the extinction event is the death of all men, except of course one. This is another one of those comic books that gets included in seemingly every newbie bundle. There's a reason for that. It's gripping and full of cliffhangers while also being tender, hilarious and full of emotions. It is one of those rides you can binge read and then share with everyone who so eagerly pushed it into your arms in the first place. At number 4 is Batman Volume 1 by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. As with a lot of the mainstays, it's hard to pinpoint the exact right place to jump in with a character as storied as Batman. So why not choose one by a creator himself, Scott Snyder, not to be confused with Zack Snyder. This is a fantastic book and really captures the caped crusader in all his glory. Perfect for beginners. At number 5 is All-Star Superman Volume 1 by Grant Morrison and Frank Quitely. The amazing creative team of writer Grant Morrison and artist Frank Quitely join forces to take Superman back to the basics and create a new vision of the world's first superhero. This is a great way to begin understanding the mythos of a phenomenon called Superman that now supersedes pop culture and is a juggernaut of cultural mainstay. At number 6 is The Sandman Volume 1 by Neil Gaiman, Sam Keith and Mike Dringenberg. This is one of the classics, completely without any action or suspense. It is this story that paved the way for the revolution that the Sandman series began. And this story alone 
remains one of the handful true perfect masterpieces of the medium. The Sandman is a milestone in modern comics and literature, an essential reading for anyone interested in the medium. At number 7 is Jessica Jones' Alias by Brian Michael Bendis and Michael Gatos. If you're looking for something that relatively directly inspired an on-screen superhero, here you go. There are differences between page and screen, of course, but this is the main source material from where Jessica Jones took the form of the character who we so love in the Netflix series. At number 8 is The Astonishing X-Men Volume 1 by Josh Whedon and John Cassidy. When it comes to the X-Men, there are approximately 10 quadrillion places to start from, but that can sometimes be very problematic because that's very intimidating. So here's one option. With a handy bridge by Josh Whedon, The Astonishing X-Men Volume 1 ties you to other mediums and creators you may be more familiar with and is a great way to begin reading about the X-Men. At number 9 is Lumberjanes Volume 1 by Noel Stevenson, Grace Ellis and Brooke Allen. It's literally a bunch of girls at summer camp. A supernatural summer camp. This is one of those punk rock, love everything about it stories that appeals to fans of basically all things excellent. So that may well be you, especially considering how critically acclaimed this series is. And finally with one of the big guns. Persepolis by Marjani Satrapi. Based on her own personal experience of the Islamic Revolution in Iran, Marjani Satrapi introduces us to the effects of cultural change through the eyes of a child. This graphic novel is a political, historical and extremely personal account of a girl's growth into maturity and there are a range of emotions disseminated in this novel. So there you go, 10 books which we think if you are interested in the comic book and graphic novel genre, you should definitely pick up. And again, this is not a list of the best comic books or graphic novels that we could think of. Hold your horses, fanboys, before you start complaining where the hell is Dark Knight. Hopefully, these books will open the gates for a whole wide world of amazing stories in this medium and make you realize, at least, that this medium deserves every bit of the respect as any form of literature, both as literature and visual art. So grab a copy of any of these books or all of them and let us know what you thought. And if you guys have any other suggestions that you think should have been on the list, let us know in the comments below. And if you want to read our article on the list of 10 comic books for beginners, the link is in the description below as well. And as always, if you want to see more content, please do like this video and maybe you can subscribe to this channel. That helps us out a lot. So until next time, I will see ya!